If you are a proud owner of the MacBook Air M2, or if you are considering purchasing one, you surely know, or need to know based on your experience, how sensitive it can be to dirt and fingerprints, especially in the midnight color variant, and how much attention needs to be paid to keep its original appearance intact for as long as possible. Furthermore, considering its not so low price tag and the fact that it's a portable device, allowing us to use it wherever and however we want, the risk of accidental damage significantly increases. Therefore, you would agree with me that protecting it from smudges, dirt, and potential bumps or scratches is of paramount importance. In this video, I want to share with you a good solution that I have found to protect it from fingerprints, dirt, and accidental bumps or scratches. It's a non-invasive solution that comes at a low cost, but it can give you a little more peace of mind. I understand that those who buy a MacBook do so because they find it to be a reliable and trustworthy work companion, but also because it's a beautifully designed laptop. Therefore, altering its appearance in any way could be somewhat bothersome. It certainly has its charm, with its refined finishes, elegant design, aluminum body, compact size, absolute silence due to the lack of a fan, and powerful processor that make it a top-notch laptop. Moreover, all these features are likely to arouse feelings of envy and desire, an object to flaunt and show off. So, I would say that using it as it comes out of its original box is something enjoyable. For example, I love keeping it on my desk in its wooden stand, almost like it's a piece of art to admire, and changing its appearance was not my intention. However, if you use it frequently, like me, outside of a controlled environment, let's say, such as your study or your desk, and you rightfully take it with you in your daily activities, like at work, school, or during your travels, the risk of it getting scratched or damaged could significantly increase. And if that were to happen, it would be a tragedy, so to speak. But don't despair, I have searched for a solution that could be a good compromise. An economical, effective, and suitable solution for it. There are various products available on the market, and I have chosen one which I want to show you today in case you might be interested. My choice fell on a hard snap-on cover, black in color, a color that I really like on devices, but there are many other colors to choose from and vary. Surprisingly, in its package, in addition to the cover, there is a rubber keyboard cover, a screen protector film, an instruction sheet, double rubber pads for support, and a cute velvet-like bag whose function I haven't quite figured out yet. Well, I guess it's not important, so let's move on. I have to say that the first impressions are very good. To the touch, you can tell it's plastic, but it's sturdy plastic and pleasant to feel. The installation is not complicated. After carefully cleaning the MacBook with a microfiber cloth and suitable liquid, by the way, if you're interested, I'll leave all the links below in the description. I recommend doing a thorough cleaning on all its parts even in the hidden areas. Once that was done, I proceeded to apply the top cover first, fitting the tabs on the edges as per the instructions, and then applying the back cover to the MacBook, also snapping it in place and following the instructions. It's all very simple, and in five minutes, you can apply the cover, and I have to say that I really like the result. The laptop changes its appearance but still remains somewhat the same. Unfortunately, the Apple logo is barely visible. It wasn't very visible to begin with, but with this cover, the situation worsens, although I don't mind because it attracts less attention when you carry it around, reducing the risk of theft. But apart from that, I have to add that the cover fits perfectly, it's the right size, and there are no air gaps. My fear was that the plastic might get deformed and form indentations, but this doesn't happen as it adheres perfectly becoming one with the laptop. The openings underneath for ventilation and cooling at the back are also interesting, although we know that the MacBook Air doesn't have a fan and doesn't really need air vents, but having air circulation can only be good for it. Continuing, I proceeded to apply the screen protector film. I didn't do a good job here, as it's not that easy, and there were some small bubbles left, and I had to seek help from those adhesive guides that come with phone kits which are not included here. The result, all in all, is good, and the bubbles are not noticeable with the screen on, but it has increased the mirror effect, which is a bit annoying. However, I believe it can protect the display from scratches. 
If that were to happen, repairing it would certainly come at a cost, so protecting the display is a must for me. The last interesting thing is the keyboard cover. It also adheres perfectly and once placed on top, it becomes one with the keyboard. I must say that typing it does not create any problems. It is pleasant to the touch. It reduces the noise of the keys, but I have discovered that it blocks the backlighting of the letters, which I cannot do without. In conclusion, I can tell you that I am very satisfied with the cover. It has exceeded my expectations. The MacBook doesn't lose its charm and functionality, but it certainly increases protection against minor bumps and accidental scratches, and that's the most important thing. What do you think? Is it a valid method of protection? What do you use? And with this video, we're done. If you liked it, leave a free like and subscribe to the channel for future updates. See you next time.